Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. The Canadians have won the draw, and we are now underway. Here's a chance. Oh, what a denial by Georgiev. Here's a shot. Great reflexes, another save. McKinnon's hard to shove off the puck. That's his unstoppable force zone ability. Suzuki's depended upon greatly by his teammates. He's one of the stars of this team and needs to produce night in and night out. Look to one of these players to be a difference maker in this one. Back up to the booth. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Denies him on the slapper. Slides the puck over. Knocked away with the stick by McCarr. Moves it quickly over to Matheson. He scores! The captain leading by example! Well, that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. Montreal's aggressive four-check results in a quick lead and just moments into this one, Cheryl. Yeah, and they really were urgent right off of the face-off. And it looks like their opponent's in quicksand, almost stunned, if you will, James, because they're just coming at them on all cylinders, and they executed early in the first period. I mean, they're dictating the pace, and they've got their opponent on their heels right now. Here's a short pass to Rantanen. Let's the wrister go. He scores! That's Miko Rantanen! But when you're in tight to the net, you don't have much margin of error here. And he's able to find the back of the net. It's all about accuracy, not necessarily how hard the shot is. Lots of time left in this period. It's all tied up. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Montreal's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it to Matheson. Poked away in the neutral zone by McCarr. Tries to feed it across. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Scooped up along the wall by Ullinen. Poked away by Drouin. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Let's see the call here. The Canadians are being called for tripping. And the man advantage unit comes out to go to work. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. Taken along the wall by Shekai. On the heels of their blades, trying to get it out. And he moves the puck across the blue line out of the defensive zone. Colorado's looking to break out. Slides it across to Shekai. Great use of the stick at center by Byram. And the puck's knocked loose. And he takes the feed. Great heads up play with the stick by Taves. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Sends it over to Colton. Here's a feed in front. And that's stopped. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. The Avalanche have put themselves down a man, tripping the call. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. Not typically that we see four-on-four -four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. The backhand, great stop by Georgiev. What a 
fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Lots of time left in this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Here's a chance in front. Block shot. The Avs gain possession along the wall. And now it's grabbed by Johansson. Quick feed to Nichuskin. And he takes the pass. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. And look at this. These fans are starting to get on their feet to recognize what an incredible save we just witnessed. Yeah, he made an incredible one, didn't he? And, and you got to embrace it when they're on their feet in support of you because you know you hear boos often when you let a bad one in. So embrace it. You can tell that he's feeling it right now. And there's another stop. Just fantastic work by the goaltender making consecutive saves. How athletic. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Slavkovsky's moving the puck through his own zone. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. And as the penalty expires, they'll go to work now on the man advantage. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. From their own end, and they'll get a fresh set of legs out there on this man advantage. Taken by Dvorak. Moves the puck down low. Montreal's playing it from the side. Here's a chance behind the net. A shot, and that goes off a player in front. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Just a few seconds remaining here with this man advantage. Can they get something going here? Colton's almost out of the box. How did he stop that one? Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Suzuki's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. And they win the draw on their own end. And they manage to clear it. Man advantage fails to deliver, and both teams back playing at even strength with the score still tied. You get a ball. Oh, well, there's going to be a call on that one, James. Takes the feed, moving in. Great poke check on the reach. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. O'Connor's getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. Montreal's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, Dan. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an earned opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. Wait a second, James. I believe there's going to be a call right there. An infraction happens. The Canadians are getting penalized for slashing. A little more room out there with a little four-on-four. Four. On a four-on-four, four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier, and if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. Fires it and makes the save. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. And he stands tall in goal. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We got a tie game. Monahan's won the draw inside his own end. Slides the puck across to Barron. Stoppage in play, offside the call. Makar's a great skater who can turn on a dime, guys. His elite edges zone ability means not only can he turn quickly, but he carries that momentum into a new lane to create more space for himself. Puck picked up by Matheson. Takes the puck. Takes a shot. Gets in front of it. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Montreal's won it. Now they'll go on the attack. Shot. And that's blocked from someone in front. The Avs will play the puck from behind the net. Tosses it to Makar. 
Here's a shot. Big time save with the blocker. The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up second shot opportunities, and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck quickly. You sense an upward trajectory as this game's progressed, and they find the back of the net. Well, this is just a fabulous shot. When you're in that high slot area, you know that you're going to be closed upon quickly, so you got to have a quick release. That's the first thing. And the second thing is the accuracy. If it's quick and it's on, you're going to score. Colorado's got up by one here in this opening frame, but... There's a lot of game to go here. Yeah, and I always feel like those next few shifts are critical because you know your opponent, they're either going to respond or they're not. If they don't respond and you're on your toes, you push them back and you look for a second. Fires it on net. That's blocked by Allen. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Colorado's been the better looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one goal lead. Gets it back. Oh, he caught him in the open ice. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming. And that's what he does with that first hit. Quick feed to Caulfield. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. And he slides it quickly to Johnson. Drives to the sweet spot. No room for that one to get through. Here he is in front. There's a stick save, and that went off the shaft. Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle stops the play. This is a tough situation to be in. You're frustrated. You're taking your third penalty of the period. you got to kill it, reset, and find a way to push on. The Canadians will have a little time left here with this four on three. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James, finding a way to move the puck quickly and create seams to get shots on net. Moves it to the middle, and that's intercepted. Slavkovsky's crossed the line and is on the attack now. And as both teams are now back at even strength, the power play goes over on the opportunity. Here's a chance to try to get it out of the defensive zone. And they get the puck out of the zone, and they'll go for a breather. Uh, and this is exactly what they needed. You get fresh legs out there. You also get fresh minds, and you need both to win, James. Quick pass to Cooley. Shot. Oh, what a slick stop by Georgiev. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Grabs the puck under pressure, a chance to clear. Strong defensive effort. Huge hit against the glass. I love the physicality in this game, but now there's going to be a stoppage in play, James, as that glass, it is broken. Suzuki's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Olofsson. Moves it quickly over to Anderson. And he's knocked off the puck there. Tries to get the puck to O'Connor. Here's a short pass to Makar. Taves broke the tie earlier, and now he's looking for more, James. He loves to attack the net. Denies him with a save. The Canadians play it along the boards. Centering feed, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Suzuki's made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net, but finds the puck and could have lost it, but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. Slick feed. Colton standing up, ready to go. Montreal's man advantage, unable to execute properly. They still trail by a goal. 
Specialty teams are critical, especially when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity to get the equalizer, and they just weren't able to generate anything on that one. Well, you can't do that, or you're going to find your way marching over to the box. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Well, the PKers are getting a ton of ice time, but guess what? Your offensive players are not, so you can't generate and produce. they got to figure out a way to stay out of the box. Another chance here on the man advantage. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Here's a clearing attempt from their own end. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on. Scores! And just like that, we are tied. A huge goal. I absolutely, oh, I absolutely love this PK unit. Not just sitting back and allowing the power play to take it to them. They're saying, nah, -uh, not on this shift. And they just drive and attack, and they wind up getting that shorthanded goal. What an unbelievable play. Colton's ready for the draw on this man advantage. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Moves it to Makar. And a poke check knocks the puck away. And that plays neutralized. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Suzuki's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the face-off. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Coming to the slot! Oh, what a save in front! Allen's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. Rontanen's accuracy comes from having the puck flat and settled on the ice, guys. His snipe zone ability is what really lets him pick his spots. The Canadians come up with the defensive zone draw. And that's knocked away by Suzuki. Quick feed to Nijuskin. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Picked up here in the neutral zone by Taves. Colorado's got the puck against the boards. Stones him in front. And a quick save on that one. Oh, they do it again. Well, he has been under. Stars! Putting the special in special teams. They take the lead. And often when you're on special teams, James, uh, it can go either way in terms of the momentum. If you don't generate anything, it goes the other way. If you generate something, it's all in your favor. I'll tell you what, that was execution. Well, your specialty team coaches are constantly telling you on a power play that you need to take advantage. And the way that you do that is to take away the eyes of the goaltender. A ton of net front presence here. And that's the reason the seeing eye shot finds its way to the back of the net. The Avalanche have taken advantage of some opportunities here in the first and now lead it by one. Well, yeah, I do feel like they've had the edge in the play here, James, and they're rewarded with the go-ahead goal, but they're going to have to find a way to continue to push, continue to press, because they're in a the game. Puts it on net, comes up with the stop. The Avs are in transition, and that's deflected. The Avs take possession here in the open ice. The Canadians have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Montreal's got the puck against the half wall. Big time save. Oh, he is looking good in there tonight. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Montreal's got the puck. Shot. Handles that one. Quick pass to O'Connor. That's a good heads up play at center ice. Montreal has been working hard all night, James. They've been intercepting pucks. They've had great stick position, and it's been a defensive clinic. They've got to find ways to get to the other side of the puck and generate some offense. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Moves it quickly over to Wood. Shot denied by Allen. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a faceoff. Well past the midway mark of this period, Colorado's got a one-goal lead. Yeah. 
Montreal's taken possession in their own end. And now he moves it quickly to Cooley. And that's off a stick. And he takes the dish. And he had the answer on that one. Tries to feed it over to Johansson. The Avs pick up steam and are on the attack. Off the mask, kept out that way. Receives the pass. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Picked up along the wall by Jones. Puck grabbed by Johansson. Tatar stick handling in his own zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Good heads up play to bat it down onto the ice. Here's a short pass to Makar. Montreal's got possession of the puck. Puck scooped up by Kovacevic. They go on the attack from the left side. Quick pass over to Olofsson. Moves along the boards with some purpose. Puck sent in, and that will allow for a fresh group of forwards to get out on the ice. Scooped up along the wall by Cooley. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Makar. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Gets in front of it for the block. Georgiev's last save was absolutely incredible, James. Not only was it pure desperation and athleticism, but I'm not sure how he can stretch that far. I think he's been doing gymnastics in his off time. Poked away in the neutral zone. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Quick shot! Turned aside with the glove by Georgiev. Past the midway mark in this period. Colorado's got a 3-2 lead at this point. The Avs win the draw. Feeds the puck to Colton. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Oh, a solid heads-up play to knock it down. Solid check to slow him down. Moves it to Byram. Right in front with the shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Fires it into the offensive zone. Sends a pass over. Colton's got it in the offensive end. Pinned up along the boards. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Slides it diagonally to Barron. Grabs it in his own end. Quick feed to Barron. And it's a quick pass to Suzuki. Watching that one. Well, goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason. This scores! Kaboom! What a shot! Nobody was stopping that one timer. Oh, he's flashing the leather, looking for that huge glove save, James. But you got to stop it first if you want to make the highlight reel. That one winds up in the back of the net. The Avs are sitting pretty right now with a two-goal lead, and it's still early in this one. Yeah, they've got a lot of game left, but they certainly got the start that they wanted to. They've been pressing all over the ice, closing quickly, and of course, finishing. Colorado's going to start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that face-off. Anderson's feeling that, and someone's going to the box. Here comes the call. Johnson's stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. The Canadians send their man advantage unit out once more. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. Matheson's moving it ahead. Handles the puck. And he skies that one over the net. Now you can certainly see where he was looking, James. He's looking to go bar down up high. And he just gets too much loft on that one. Doesn't turn the wrist over. And guess what? It's high. It's missed. Tries to get the puck over to O'Connor. 
The Canadians gain possession. Quick pass to Suzuki. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck shorthanded. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Moves it quickly over to Suzuki. And that goes off course wide. You got to get a shot on that, James. You get in tight, you have an opportunity in that scoring area, and you don't even get a shot on net. Not good enough. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Takes a shot. Scores! They come through on the power play and get it done. And it's so important when you're on the power play to have precise execution of your passes, and you're able to move the coverage. That's exactly what they did, and they're able to convert. You see players taking this shot all the time in practice with their skill coaches, and I'm telling you right now, this is perfect execution. Shooting in stride, quick snap of the wrist, and putting in the back of the net. Got to see where you want to be. His head was up the whole time. And after the draw at center, they've got a hold of the puck. The Avs take possession in the defensive end. Oh, set that hit up perfectly. Knocked away by Manson. The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. Here's a short pass to Johansson. The Canadians get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Montreal's on the attack. Quick pass across to Slavkovsky. Feeds it to Drouet. Here's a chance. Oh, and he missed the net. What a chance there. Oh, James, when you're in the funnel, you've got that great scoring chance. you got to execute. You can't miss from that area. Tough spot to be in. You need momentum, and you give it back by going on the PK when you're trailing by one. I love the 1 3 1 set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. Montreal's got the puck shorthanded. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. And he slides it quickly to Kivaranta. Pass right back. Off a stick, and they can't connect. Makar's lugging the puck. Now a quick pass to Tatar. Slides the puck up from the left side. Moves it to Evans. Colorado's got the puck along the boards. Tries to get it over to Kivaranta. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. Denied by Allen. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Johansson's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Colorado's won the faceoff. Taves has two goals in the game already. James, you know that he's playing with a ton of confidence and he can feel and taste that third. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Centering feed! And that's intercepted. Good hit to knock the puck loose. And he takes the feed. Loose puck battle along the boards. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Feeds it up ahead. All alone. Makes a save. Oh, and this is a great save. You can see this one-on-one -on -one battle. And the goaltender is so dialed in, tracking, and makes that save. to Rantanen. Trying to get back on the attack now. And he turned that aside as we continue play here. And that slides right out to center ice. The Avs don't have time on their side with this power play running out. Poked away at center by Harris. The Canadians will play it from the defensive zone. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Here in the late going of the frame, Colorado's clinging to this 4-3 lead. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Kovacevic is out of the box. He owes a lot of credit to that penalty-killing unit. 
Body language says it all, James. Have a look at the unit here. Every single one of them deflated. They know that they needed to... Let's score! And the back and forth continues here tonight. Well, they've been trading counter-attacks, and it's highly entertaining for everyone in the building, perhaps except for the goaltenders and the coaches. I love this snapshot from in tight, James. That beats the goaltender. But how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you got to have the will. The Avs have been rewarded with the lead here late in this first period with all the shots they put on net. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Takes the feed. Slavkovsky's going to play it against the half wall. Chance in front. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. The Canadians scoop it up along the boards. And he keeps that one out. Sends the pass over. Great read by the keeper to poke it away. Ulanen's picking up steam. The Avs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Breakaway! Denied on the breakaway. Oh, he came up clutch there. Well, he really did. Uh, anytime that you're one-on-one, -on -one, you gotta beat the shooter, and that's exactly what he does. Colton's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. they got to find a way to play even strength. Another chance here on the man advantage. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James, and if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go, fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup, and man, is it working tonight. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Colton's taking it from his own end. The Avs played along the boards. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Sends the pass in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Winding down the final minute of this opening oh. frame. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Let's get the call here. And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit. And you know what? They are taxed. They are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire. A little four-on-four four hockey as both teams step inside the face-off circle. And they win the face-off and set up to go on the attack. Makes the save with the glove. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Good use of the body on the play. Quick pass to McKinnon. Look out, here they come on the attack. Just gets enough to keep it out. Allen's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Moves it quickly over to McKinnon. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. The Avs are holding down the lead here late in this first period. They have looked really good offensively so far. Colorado's won the draw. Here's a short pass to Rantanen. And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots more still to come. Second period is just around the corner.
And the official seems about ready to drop the puck on period number two. Quite the display of heavy artillery in the opening frame. Let's see if it carries over here in the second. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Colorado's got the lead in this one, but it's a high-scoring affair, really at both ends of the ice. Both teams are finding ways to get shots through to the net, but they've got the majority of them, and they have the lead right now. Matheson's moving the puck through his own zone. Drives to the paint! Taken by McCarr. With some open space here in the neutral zone. The Canadians look to start the transition game. Barron's got it in the defensive end. Slides the puck across to Caulfield. Montreal's got a chance to go to work on the power play here after their penalty expired. Nice poke check. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. And they send it down the ice. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves it on over to Cooley. Takes the feed. Montreal's got control of the puck. Handles the pass. Slides the puck to Dvorak. The Canadians come up empty-handed on the power play. We're back to even strength here. Coach won't be happy with that. James didn't make the PK unit move out. They've got an on man rush. Steps inside. What a great defensive play to end that rush. And that's off a stick. Moves it to Slepkovsky. Takes the feet at the back end. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away. Oh, my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all but in, James. And that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. They are really pouring on the pressure here. Here they come on the attack. Shuts them down. shot but you follow it up and you still have the eyes to find the puck and put it on your stick and then bury your chance that's a great play all the way around that's great puck movement james working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier and they gain that entry because they've got numerical advantage and they capitalize and executed with it the abs are having a laugh tonight up by a bunch now well when it's working for you it's working for you and you know that the coach loves this as well because guess what the entire bench is going to be utilized they're all in rhythm get them all out there the canadians win the draw here in the neutral zone on the attack along the boards slides the puck down low montreal's got it from behind the net way too much congestion blocks that grabbed along the boards by byram takes it and looks ahead Takes a shot. Here's a shot. And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. Colorado's offense has come to play in a big way as they dominated both the shots and goal category. Montreal's got a hold of the puck. The Canadians will play it in their own end. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Well, you know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. Steps across the blue line. Sent into the offensive zone. Angles it over to Olofsson. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Quick feed to Caulfield. The Avs gain control of the puck against the wall. Kicked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. Dumps the puck in. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Directed over to Pearson. Moves the puck to the attacking area. And now it's grabbed by Pearson. Quick pass to Suzuki. Scores! Well, they needed something and... That clearly was something, Cheryl. Yeah, it certainly was, and there's some pushback, but they're going to need to layer it because they got to get closer than within two if they want to find a way back in this game. 
Well, I really like the way they move the puck around to wait for the right time to be able to move that puck for the one-timer in that low slot area. He didn't have much time to get it off, but he got some wood on it and buried it. The Canadians finally get one back. Now can they get a few more? Uh, you certainly know that you can get back in a game. Only a two-goal deficit, and sometimes it doesn't take long when you're on your toes and you're playing with urgency. Now he takes it over the line and pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Knocked around, but keeps it going. Came up with a nice save. And will get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Colorado's got the lead on the scoreboard. A big reason to that has been the amount of pucks that they've been putting on net. Montreal's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Officials are in position and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. Montreal's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Drouin. Fires it! And that one's denied! Puck picked up by Slavkovsky. Moves it quickly over to Tatar. To the front! Scores! Deuces wild as that's his second of the game! Well, he's got two tallies on the score sheet, James, but I love this game off the puck as well. I think that he's had a hard nose on the forecheck. He's hounded it, he's hunted it, and guess what? He's been rewarded for his efforts. Well, he's got a lethal combination, James. He's got that low center of gravity and core strength, and then, of course, he's got the sick skill to make something happen with the puck on his stick. He does just that. He's able to withstand the jostle and the battle and then finds a way to make a great distribution for a goal. Puck grab by McKinnon. Referee singling for a delayed penalty. Looks like they caught that slash. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. The Avs once again send out their power play unit. Well, they've already scored tonight on the PP, James, and looking to really thread the needle again on this one. Their movement, their adjustments have been excellent thus far. Matheson's got the puck in his own zone. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Passes on over to Rantanen. Quick pass to Nichuskin. Moves the puck. And that goes off a player. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And they get the puck out of the zone, and that's a break for the squad. Oh, yeah, this PK unit, they're out there for a reason, James. You have to be able to clear the puck, and it's easier said than done, but they make no mistake this time. Let's move to the middle, and that's stopped. Gets him a tap with a stick, and the referees don't like it. Here's the official call. I always hated to play in these games. You just came out flat, and nothing you did made it better. Now they got to kill off a penalty when they're getting blown out. Real tough game. Colorado's got a five on three, and the clock's their BFF here. The long five on three, yes, you have more time, and you know that you've worked on this in practice. The coach wants you to be patient with the puck, but they want you to find the opportunity to drive and attack. You have to move it or you have to fire it. Colton's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Monahan's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Here's a clearing attempt. Gets it out of his own end. And he loses control here. Puck scooped up by Kivaranta. Here's a short pass to Colton. From the side. Scores! There it is on the power play. The power play has been really efficient tonight, James, and they're really gaining momentum off of it. And often when you're drawing this many penalties, teams start to play different against you. That's exactly how the coach would have drawn it up, James. I mean, you move the puck around the outside. 
to disrupt the coverage. You open up the middle of the ice, and then you get a glorious shot chance, and you capitalize. Excellent work. The Avalanche have come to play in a big way tonight. Yeah, right from puck drop, too, James. I mean, just the urgency around that initial opening face-off. They've been quicker all game long, and it's reflective on the scoreboard. Colton's won the draw at center. Moves it to Kibaranta. Montreal's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Sends it in deep. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Puts it on net and makes the save. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Dvorak's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. The Canadians win that offensive zone face-off. Nice save by the goaltender to get a pad on that. Well, that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Dvorak won the face-off here in the offensive zone. Great defensive effort with the stick. Quick feed to Matheson. Great reach with the poke check by Nachuskin. Johansson's gaining momentum. And that's broken up. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Centering in front. And that's intercepted. Takes the pass. Johansson's been fantastic in terms of distributing the puck tonight, James. Not a shot-first mentality, but a pass-first mentality. His awareness is off the charts. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. He's got a step. Oh, hits the post. Oh, and that's a tough sound to hear when you're in a prime shooting area, but you got to give some kudos to the tender who's in good position and forces that shot. Tries to the crease. And he turned that one aside. He scores. It looked like he had me. this goal, James. It looks like he thought he was sealed to the post, but there was just enough room to let that puck slide by. Colorado's been on a roll all night long, and they continue to show no signs of slowing down here in period number two. Yeah, they're not taking their foot off the gas pedal here, James. They've been pushing and pressing all game long, and look at the scoreboard. It's a reason why they're ahead. The Avs gain possession along the wall. Suzuki's the one to lead the comeback here. He's the captain of this team with an offensive zone faceoff. No better way to create some momentum than get one on the board. Taken by Taves. Picks it off. Look out. Snaps it onto the net. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. Colorado's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. The Canadians win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Great save by the goaltender, who was in the right place at the right time. Denies him again. Georgiev's been solid here tonight, James. I mean, look at his save percentage. He's been excellent between the crease, and that's making the saves that you need to and you want to at the appropriate moment. Man, his team's been effective going north. Good check. Freeze the puck up. Quick pass to Pezzetta. Steps inside. And he slides it quickly to Evans. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Moves it quickly over to Kovacevic. Gives him nothing in front. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Moves it over to Manson. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. Puck dumped in, and the forwards are going to skate off. The Canadians get a hold of the puck along the boards. 
Gallagher's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Snaps it on net. Quickly to Caulfield. Colorado's got the puck. Looking for space inside the D zone. Change is coming up front as they send the puck in. The Canadians move the puck in the defensive zone. And he moves it up to Caulfield. Well, he had his eyes on the puck. He tracked it perfectly and got himself set to position, James. I thought he had it. He got a good chunk of it, but he didn't get it all. Montreal's been on their heels all night long, but they finally pushed back here in period number two. Certainly something positive to get on the board, but they're going to have to build on top of it if they want to really create some momentum and believe that they're back in this game. Johansson's won the draw. Read that perfectly with the poke check. The Avs have it against the wall. Slides the puck over. Taves has it in the defensive end. Tatar's got the puck. Centering key! to come into James the team is not playing well in front of you the starter's been chased out of the crease and then you get peppered right away real tough Colorado's carried the puck like it's been on a string all night Cheryl puck's been on their stick and their opponent's been on their heels they've just been worn down with the offensive zone possession time and how about the goaltender seeing so much rubber tonight and a lot in the netting to Makar. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Quick feed to Slavkovsky. And now it's grabbed by O'Connor. Here's a shot. Oh, stick save and a butte. Stuffs him again. Still has possession. Colorado's got the puck. Taken along the wall by Makar. Puck picked up by Wood. The Avs played along the wing. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. They'll change things up on the back end as that's sent in deep. Byram stick handling in his own zone. That knocks him off the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Cooley. Inside his own end, moves the puck. Quick pass to O'Connor. And he takes the feed. Colton's having himself a game, Jake. Here's the break away. And he had an answer with that save. And he connects with the long bomb. All alone. Oh, denies him on the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Sends it over. Great little poke check by the goaltender there. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Battle along the wall. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. The Avs have it now. And he takes the pass. Poked away at center by Tatar. Pass across to Johansson. From right out of midair, he bats it down. Tatar has got it against the boards. Defoe's taken down. Officials will pass the sentence here. 
this is a frustrating situation, James, just taking a whack load of penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Although the power play hasn't been great, it has converted. To convert again, they're going to have to find a way to create those openings, get the coverage outside of the dots, and find a way to capitalize. They put the puck into the offensive end. Slick feed. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Loose puck battle along the boards. The Avs gain control of the puck. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by McKinnon. Puck clears the zone. And it's a quick pass to Dvorak. And he takes the dish. Slides it back to the blue line. Gets a piece of it and will play on. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Olafson's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Colorado's won the defensive zone draw. Montreal's got a hold of the puck now. Works it across to Slavkovsky. Oh, and here's the pass. Poked away in the offensive zone by Slavkovsky. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Gallagher. And he makes a save there. Let's see what the officials are calling. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. The Canadians with a two-man advantage power play coming up. Two-player advantage, five on three. So much room available. Sometimes you can get lulled along the perimeter and look for the perfect pass. Sometimes you just got to fire the puck. They clear the zone. The Canadians have it now. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. The Canadians take possession in the defensive end. Sends it quickly to Anderson. Textbook poke check by Byram. Fires it on net. Oh, a little love from the glove. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. Suzuki's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Georgiev's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Olafson's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Montreal's won it. Now they'll go on the attack. Takes a shot. That's blocked. And he slides it quickly to Barron. Oh, he stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Johansson's back out onto the ice, and they will continue to play shorthanded here. Great reach with the stick by Anderson. Oh, and he whips on it. Montreal's got possession here in the offensive zone. The Canadians scoop it up along the boards. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Here's a short pass to Dvorak. Too many bodies in the way. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Whistle blows, stopping the play. We got to put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. The frustrating calls, no question about it. They got to figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. Batten down the hatches. Things should open up here with a little four on four on the ice. Four on four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have the D as well, so it's complete defense out there. And a strong effort on that play. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Cooley. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Stopped by the goaltender. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. 
glide into position. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Across the line along the left wall. Picked up along the wall by Cooley. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Colorado's looking to break out. Shot! Montreal's gained possession. Their man's now out of the box and they'll take advantage on the power play. That's moved up ahead. Great vision to see that stretch pass. Oh, look at this! Break away! Makes the save. Colorado's got possession of the puck. Tatar's been having a fantastic night, just filling the net, and the puck's been all over his stick, but the crowd certainly doesn't like it, wants their team to really take him out. The Canadians move it ahead. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves it to Kivaranta. The Avs carry it along the wall. Oh, great read as he pokes it away. Takes a shot. Comes up with the stop. Montreal's got it in their own zone. And a stick breaks that up. Poked away by got the puck along the boards. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Yeah, they're handedly win. And they score! The pylon continues, Cheryl. Oh, it is ugly, and there's nothing worse than the score than having your own crowd just give way on you. They are not happy. You can hear the booing tonight in this building. Just a tough game all the way around. I think they screamed uncle about two of these ago. When you see a guy dangling around his opponent, weaving in and out, sometimes you think it's showboating, James. But all it is is manipulating his opponent to get the lane that he wants. You know that he's going to deliver a pass. And you just got to be ready for it. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Quick feed to Johansson. Big stop right there. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Johansson's won the draw. From the slot, fires away, made that stop. Pokes it away in his own end. Receives the pass. Here's a shot, and that one's turned away. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Into the attacking end. Jostling for the puck, and it's knocked away. Puts it on net. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Quick pass to Rantanen. Oh, and he misfires on that. Grabbed along the board by Gallagher. Moves it quickly over to Matheson. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. That's gloved by Georgiev. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Colton's won it off the faceoff. Now a quick pass to Wood. Gets it over to O'Connor. Montembeau. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Wax it into the offensive zone. Byram's lugging the puck. Sends a pass over. Skates in behind the cage. Handles it along the blue line. Heads to the back of the net. Here's a short pass to Wood. And that puck leaves the zone. The Canadians get a hold of it. Gets it over to Byron. Moves it to Wood. Colorado's through center and now in the offensive end. The Avs have it in the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Wood. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Montembeau. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice and make himself as big as possible. 
Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. They gain the zone from the left side. Montreal's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Handles the puck. Denies him. He got all of it. Scooped up along the wall by Olofsson. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. Montreal's gained possession along the boards. And he takes the feed. Quick feed to Slavkovsky. Glove save. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high-danger scoring chances eventually go in. Colorado's got possession here in their own end. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Quick pass to Gallagher. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Good hit to bump him off the puck. Moves it quickly over to Shekai. With possession along the wall. Scores! Well, a sign that they have been rolled over just yet here, Cheryl. Well, any life is good life right now when you're looking at this kind of deficit, James. And if you're the goal scorer, you certainly feel good about yourself. But from a collective group and, and the units that are going out there, they're going to have to find a way to generate offense. And hey, they're going to take some risks out here because they got to get a few. Montreal's got to find a way to build on this now. This is the time. It certainly is, James, and that's something to build off. When you get a goal, you can't sit idly by like you have all game. You have to find a way to execute and create some momentum and more offense if they want to get back in the game. Brantanen's got it across the line. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Brantanen's known for his creativity and he tries one too many moves there and he loses the puck. And that brings the second period to an end. Both teams will go back to their rooms and get a quick breather. While, man, there's a lot of fans looking forward to this intermission action coming up here. Fun entertainment in store. And we've got the third period coming up in moments. Opening face-off for period number three is ready to go. Puck is dropped on the third, and if you love offense, well, stick around for this one. Well, Ponder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? Colorado's been consistent through 40 minutes of play here, James, and they have a comfortable lead. Now it's about bringing it home, and in order to do that, you got to make sure that you're defensively responsible. The Canadians are looking to get back into this one, trailing early in this third period, despite having the better scoring chances. Takes the feed. Brantanen's crossed the line and gained the zone. Moves it to the middle. And a new pass. A new pass. And he denies that great opportunity there. You can see him set up for the shot. It looks like he's in perfect position, and then his stick just explodes, and he misses the net. Under siege, and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Montreal's won the draw. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Great pass from off the right side. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Caulfield. 
blocked in traffic. Puck grabbed by Drouin. Looks to make a play over to Makar. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Byram. Broken up with a little physicality. Drouin's hauled down. Penalty on the way. Snaps one on net. Here comes the official's decision. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. they got to find a way to play even strength. Another power play opportunity coming up here. Having success earlier on the power play, they recognize where the openings have been. But what I love about it is they're not afraid to change it up. The motion on this power play in these sequences have really been the reason they've been successful. Coughs up the puck after that hit. Quick shot! Oh, great reflex pad stopped by Montembeau. Harris moves the puck. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Tries to feed it over to Makar. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Slides it diagonally to Harris. Montreal's on the attack. Oh, just a great heads up play by Tatar. He carries the puck up along the wing. Here's a chance. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Let's it go. Oh, brings it off the outside of the iron. Thought he had the corner, but clearly not. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, how do you miss that? I mean, it's all part of the game, but Cheryl, you've got to connect on that one. Well, you do, especially when you get those grade A scoring chances. You have to find a way to, at minimum, get it to the net. But man, I think he had a little more time on his side, and it just ricochets off his toe. Suzuki's had such an impressive night offensively. You know that's his wheelhouse as he loves to have the puck on his stick. He creates, he's confident with it, and he's got a multi-point game. Sends the pass over. Takes it across the blue line. The Canadians will kill off a few extra seconds now. Dumps it in. The Avs gain possession along the wall. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Moves it to Rantanen. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Forces the turnover. Takes the feed. Nice zone entry from the right side. Takes a shot. Oh, stopped with the pad by Montembeau. Being on the power play is a privilege. Trust me, I know I was never on it. Always on the PK. So for those players who didn't execute, yes, they had a comfortable lead, and some would say it's not a big deal, but to each and every one of them, it should be. Reaches out and uses the stick. That's some smart heads-up defensive play by Ullinen. The Canadians looking against the half wall. Taves carries the puck in his own zone. And that slides right out to center ice. Puck scooped up by Barron. Handles the pass. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away and it goes the other way. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Takes the feed from the left side. The Canadians take it along the wall. The Avs gain possession in their own end. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Takes it from the right side. Montreal's got control of the puck. Here they come. And the challenge is accepted. And scores the takedown, and that'll bring this one to an end. Yeah, gets his weight over him and takes him down to the ice, and he's going to be the victor in this one. Sometimes when you're getting blown out and you're upset and you're frustrated, you're sending a message to your team as well. You're sending a message like, hey, we got to finish this one strong. we got to send a message for the next time we meet.
Well, cooler heads finally prevailing here as both teams step inside the faceoff circle. Olafson's won it in their own end. Picked up along the boards by Byram. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Here we go, pucks in deep. Scrum along the wall. Quick pass across to Anderson. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. Slides the pass over to Dvorak. Fires it! Oh, great save here! Centering pass! Oh, and he comes up with a stop! Centers are set, face off, ready to resume play. McKinnon's won the draw here in their own zone. Brantonen's taking it from his own end. Swats it out of midair. Quick feed to Kovacevic. Who's the puck? Can't hang on after that hit. Colorado's gained the line and into the zone. Quick pass to McKinnon. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Tries to make that cross ice speed. Takes the pass. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Angles it over to Suzuki. Sends the pass down low. Along the half wall with the puck. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Takes the feed at the point. The Avs get their second line out there. James, they've been real effective tonight. They've been dominant in the offensive zone. They've been key contributor, and this is really important when you want to get that secondary scoring. And they send it right back to him. Pokes the puck away. Johansson's going to play it against the half wall. Great pad save. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Johansson's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. And he hangs on to the puck. Moves it quickly over to Slavkovsky. Colorado's looking to break out of their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. And he takes the feed. Cassetta's moving the puck through his own zone. Takes a shot. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. The Avs win the draw. The Canadians ready to go on the attack. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. And now he moves it quickly to Matheson. Back to the blue line. Nowhere for that shot to go through. The Avs will play it from the defensive zone. And a smart heads-up play to poke that away by Barron. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Picked up along the wall by Olofsson. Swing and a miss. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Picking up some steam at center ice. Here's a shot. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow. From the neutral zone now. Fires it on net. Love save made by Georgiev. I love that he swallowed this one up with his glove. It's a real threat coming from the slot area. No rebound to boot. The Canadians still trail in this third period despite numerous scoring opportunities. McKinnon's won the faceoff. The Avs will play it in their own end. And he loses control of the puck. Grabbed along the board by Shekai. The Canadians played along the boards. Sends the pass in front. Picked off in front. Mishushkin's really hearing it from the home crowd right now. They didn't like that play earlier that injured their player, and they're going to let 
let him know it all night long. The Avs have it now. Slides it over with pace to McKinnon. Shot! Gets a piece of it with the glove! Great defensive effort with the strip. Montreal's got the puck against the boards. The Avs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. They've got the defense outnumbered. Oh, what a stop by Montembeau. And there's another stop. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. Here's a shot. Oh, quick save. And it's a quick pass to Devora. Oh, wow, stops him again. McCarr's got it in the defensive end. Colorado's playing it from the side. And he keeps possession. The Canadians play it along the boards. Moves it around along the half wall. Colorado's got a hold of the puck now. Dumps it in. Montreal's got the puck in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Taken by Ullinen. Slides the puck over. Here's a short pass to Matheson. That goes off a twig. Kivaranta's got the puck through the neutral zone. And now it's grabbed by Matheson. Slides the puck over to Evans. Centering feed. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. The Canadians' enemy is starting to become the clock as they still trail here in the third, despite several scoring chances. Johnson's moving it ahead. Puck picked up by O'Connor. Grabs the puck. Let's it fly. Great save by Montembeau. Setting up behind his own net now. Montreal's across the blue line. Johnson's got the puck in his own zone. Odd man rush. Can't connect as it goes off a stick. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Taken along the wall by Jones. Moves it to Colton. And that doesn't reach the net. A chance in front. Turns it away. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Gallagher's out for the remainder of the game, James, with that injury he suffered earlier. We've just received word from the staff that he will be out for an indefinite amount of time. An unfortunate storyline here throughout the game, and now we know for sure he won't be back. Oh, and just like that, steals the puck and goes the other way. The Avs have it against the wall. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Makes a move in front. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. Caulfield's got it along the wing. Off the mask of the goaltender, boy, right between the eyes. Well, he was dialed in to make the save with his mask, James, but I don't know how dialed in he's going to be now. He might be a little fuzzy. Feeds the puck up to Harris. Well, the game certainly isn't predictable, is it, James? As it's going back and forth, goals from all areas as players shoot from all angles and attack the zone. And he can't hang on after that hit. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Montembeau. What a save from point-blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position, square to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. The Canadians win it in the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Ullinen. The Canadians play it along the wing. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Nachuskin. McKinnon's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Scooped up along the wall by Barron. And he takes the pass. Tries to the crease. Fantastic save. Monaghan's back on the ice after serving that five-minute major for fighting. And it's certainly appreciated to have a physical element to your game. You know his teammates certainly appreciate it. But, man, you got to find a way to generate offense. And the only way you can is when you're on the ice. Puck grab by Byron. 
Works it across to Rantanen. They go on the attack through center. Puts it on net, and he shuts the door on that. Sends it over to Anderson. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Quick feed to Pizzetta. And there's the save on the play. Here's a shot. Oh, and another save. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Oh, and he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. Ray Reed comes up with it. And he makes the save. The Avs scoop it up along the boards. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Moves the puck to Kovacevic. Through center along the wing. Great reach with the poke check. Now a quick pass to Kovacevic. Here he is, shot right in front. From the back of the cage with the puck. And that's poked away by Kivaranta. Cogliano's got it along the boards. Puck dumped in and the forwards go for a change. And he slides it quickly to Pezzetta. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Play whistle dead offside the call. Montreal's run into a hot goaltender tonight. They've had no shortage of scoring opportunities, but yet they can't convert, and they trail here in the third. Puck scooped up by Kovacevic. The Canadians carry it along the wall. Colorado's got the puck. The Avs have it now. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Directs it on over to Kovacevic. Great heads-up play in the neutral zone by Wood. Sends the pass in front. And that's stopped. Nice zone entry on the left side. Tripped up on the play. Delay penalty coming up. Well, look at this, Cheryl. Here we go. The parade is officially underway. It certainly is. to attack is into the offensive zone Colorado's got the puck along the side here they come through the neutral zone the Canadians get a hold of the puck along the boards stones him in front and the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play chance to reset here on the draw this man advantage The Canadians win the draw here in their own end. Quick pass to McKinnon. Cannon of a shot. Sizzling shot, and he makes the save. Carlin Bay is standing by with who she thought had the better performance. McKinnon's looked great throughout this game, using his own ability to his advantage and getting in on the offense. He's been a pleasure to watch tonight, guys. Here they come on the attack. And the puck skips away after that move. Ulonen's tried a great move there. We all know with great hands he is in tight, trying to create some space, but it bobbles off his stick, and he lost possession. Poked away in the defensive end. And just like that, comes up with the puck. Great little flick of the stick. And now he moves it quickly to Rantanen. Slick feed. And that's a smart heads-up play by Kovacevic. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Rantanen. The Canadians will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Ullinen stick handling in his own zone. And he takes the dish. Colorado's got control of it now from their own end. Shot! That's blocked by Montembeau. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Colton's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Colorado's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Makes the save, but barely with that one. Sends it down low. 
has a chance in front, and that's intercepted. Sends it in on the attack. Slides it over to Tatar. Taken by Kibaranta. Well, with a hefty lead, the team looks comfortable, and certainly that power play did. Yes, they didn't execute. It didn't seem to have the urgency that they had earlier in the game. Great heads-up play with the stick by Taves. Knocks it away with the paddle. Great poke check. Fires it. Oh, I thought he had it. What a chance there. Oh, James, I thought he connected on that one. He's going to be disappointed, but he's all around the net. Montembeau's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Johansson's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. The Avs move to the offensive zone. Picked up by Shekai. And it's a quick pass to Pozzetta. Receives the pass. Moves it quickly over to Dvorak. And that's broken up. Puck knocked loose after that hit. In close. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Shot! Oh, just got a piece of that one with the glove to keep it out. The Canadians gain control of the puck against the wall. And he slides it quickly to Anderson. Making his presence felt with the hit. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Poked away in the offensive end. And he takes a shot. Blocked in traffic. The Avs move the puck in the defensive zone. The Canadians get a hold of it. Gets the puck over to Harris. Here's a short pass to Slavkovsky. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Ulonin's close to finding a hole there and just an extra move. Thought he had a little more time and space than he actually had in the play dies. Passes it over to Nitruskin. Picked up along the boards by Rantanen. And that's knocked away. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Boom! <laughs> wow, what a thunderous hit there. Wow, that was incredible. Everyone is on there. Man, did he get nailed. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Nearing the final 60 seconds in this one. Oh, what a save with the club by Georgiev. Montreal's been very active offensively tonight, but they just have not been able to finish on their scoring chances here late in the third. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Denies them with the pad. Good defensive stop with the poke check. The Canadians get a hold of the puck in their own end. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. Oh, great save by Georgiev. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Suzuki's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Takes a knock, but he's still got the puck. Tremendous stop by Georgiev. He's got the puck with all sorts of traffic around him. He got all of that hit. Knocked away by Barron. Tries to feed it over to Matheson. He got all of that one. And that's poked away by Pizzetta. 